Hello friends, in today's session we will talk about the lymphoid organ. So what is in lymphoid organ? We have the different divisions of lymphoid organs and how exactly they originate and where is the organ and where are they present. So all that we are going to talk about. So first is lymphoid organ. So the lymphoid organ are those which secrete the lymphocytes. So lymphocytes are nothing but the blood cells, especially the blood cells, uh, a division of WBC cells which exactly involve in defense mechanism. To be more uh, clearer, when an antigen comes and attacks the body, these serves as the police force to go and attack them back. So that's exactly the lymphocytes. Now, these lymphocytes are produced by the various organs in human body. So it could be thymus, lymph nodes, spleen, bone marrow and paired pouch. So first is thymus. So thymus is actually present onto the surface of sternum in your thoracic cavity. And these thymus are like bilobe organs which predominantly produce the T lymphocyte. So all that when I come to the part and I will explain you. And lymph nodes. So lymph nodes are present like on your upper limbs and lower limbs. And then your spleen. You exactly know where the spleen is. Next is your bone marrow. So bone has two different layers, the hard bone and the soft bone. The external surface of the bone is the hard bone and the internal surface of the bone is the soft bone, right? And now these internal surface of the bone called the soft bone, which is a spongy bone, they produce stem cells, that is hemopoietic stem cells, which exactly produce these lymphocytes, the blood cells. Next is your Peyer's pouch which is present in the intestine. And now we will move on to the, the primary and the secondary lymphoid organs. So the primary lymphoid organs are called as the central lymphoid organs. And in these places the lymphocytes actually they mature, they grow. But in secondary lymphoid organs which is also called as the peripheral lymphoid organs, these uh, lymphocytes actually they go on to an action where they start fighting or defending the antigens in entering our body. So now in primary lymphocytes you have two important organs. The first is thymus and the second is bone marrow. Now as I told you like earlier thymus is present onto the sternum on your thoracic cavity. They are bilobe organs. So they actually have an outer covering and inner covering. The outer covering is called as cortex and the inner covering is called as medulla. Now this cortex region is rich in T cells, right? T stands for thymocyte cells and these inner layer, the medulla, the central layer is it is sparsely covered with T lymphocytes. So meaning to say that the outer layer has more of T cells when you compare it with the middle, the inner layer. And now these uh, thymus will produce a secretion called as thymosin. Now this thymosin secretion actually help these thymus to mature, right? And then we move on to the secondary, uh, the second primary lymphoid organ which is bone marrow. So we have totally, humans have two not six bones where all the bone has the similar structure, only the shape of the bone varies. So now these bones have the outer hard covering and the inner soft covering, the hard bone and the spongy bone. Now this bone, spongy bone which you call it as marrow and this marrow has hematopoietic stem cells. So stem cells are nothing but the cells which have the capacity to grow into any kind of cells, right? So now these hematopoietic stem cells, they start producing the lymphocytes. 
sites. So that's the entry point, origin point, right from a, a child which which actually uh, been in the womb for like nine months. So right from the time of conception, this procedure starts, right? And then we move on to the secondary lymphoid organ. And secondary lymphoid organ, they help the antibodies, the blood cells, the WBCs to trap the antigen. So that is your secondary. In that, first you have the lymph nodes. So here we will study about the lymph node alone. Apart from lymph node, you have tonsils. So you know where where exactly the tonsils onto the here you have the tonsil region and then your adenoid. Adenoid is where is present on the roof of your upper palatine. This is your upper pa your palatine. So roof of the upper palatine you have adenoid and then spleen. And now we will talk about the lymph node, right? And now this lymph node is a bean shaped structure so these lymph nodes are bean shaped structure and they are the primary organs to trap the antigen so they are the first line of defense and now they have clear transparent fluid called as lymphatic fluid now this lymphatic fluid has all the lymphocytes in there and now these um, Clear transparent lymphatic fluid has phagocytic, follicular and dendritic cells. So phagocytic cells are the exactly they look like amoeba, right? So how amoeba is irregular in shape. So imagine amoeba and that's how the phagocytic cells look like. These almost follicular dendritic cells, all these cells, they resemble amoeba. So like they are all irregular in shape. For example, they come... Uh, on contact with the antigen they go now this is the antigen and here is your uh, phagocytic cells they go and engulf the antigen so that's the um, uh, structure of lymph node and now we'll have uh, a brief account on what is a lymph node so first you have the outer layer called as cortex and this cortex region is a very thick covering and next next to the cortex region you have the paracortex region paracortex region have the mature T cells right and now where in thymus the T cells are like they are actually maturing right the thymocytes but here you have the mature T cells and then the medulla region has the lymphocytes so lymphocytes are actually like 20 to 30 percent of the white blood cells so predominantly you have the uh, b cells and the t cells right now apart from that you, you even have the normal wbc cells right neutrophils eosinophils basophils and all that so suppose it mm, when a body comes in contact with an antigen, the uh, eosinophils count is really high, which shows that's why you get a fever, and that that's when you actually tend to uh, notice that there's some sort of antigen foreign particle has been entered your body. So this is all about our uh, lymphoid organs. Hope it is clear for you all.